Hi friends, welcome back to another episode. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Monica and I am the founder and creator of Girasol Vintage, a small business that brings all furniture back to life. In today's episode, I will be refinishing the Stanley server that I got from Facebook Marketplace more than a year ago, and I think I paid about $50 for it. It has beautiful lines and I love how unique the hardware is. I will be keeping this server because my kitchen slash dining room area doesn't have a lot of cabinet space and I could really use the storage. Unfortunately, the top has some scratches and water damage, so I will not be able to save the veneer, but I picked a beautiful color that will take this old forgotten credenza to a whole new level. Let's get started by removing the hardware, which I will be reusing until I decide if I'm going to be refinishing my own kitchen cabinets or not. Let me know in the comments down below if you want me to show you my kitchen makeover. If you're working on a project like this at home and you have never refinished furniture in the past, you need to know that cleaning and degreasing the piece is probably one of the most important parts of prep work. For this, I am using my favorite product, Crot Cutter. This product comes in different formulations, but this specific one I like because you don't have to rinse it out. And I do need to pick up a new bottle because I am almost out of it. Next, I started removing the doors and hardware so I can spray paint the hardware and the doors in the respective color without overspraying one or the other. I know it sounds a little too complicated, but you'll see what I'm talking about later on in the video. Make sure to label each one of the doors to match them up to their specific spots once you're done and you're ready to put the piece back together. I cover the areas where the doors go with tape and plastic so that I don't overspray it inside. These are the parts of the job that I don't particularly enjoy, but are very important to have a good quality product. I used 120 grit sandpaper to smooth out the bubble created by the water damage and to scuff sand the entire piece in preparation for priming. Once I was done sanding, it became very clear that the top of this credenza is not solid wood, but instead particle board with a wood stamp. This is an even veneer. Now, for educational purposes, I will be showing you guys two types of wood filler to use for your furniture flips. I typically only use one or the other, but again, I'll show you guys how both of them work. For this larger area, I am using DAP plastic wood to fill in the porous surface. One of the things that I like about this filler is that if it starts getting too dry or sticking to the putty knife, you can spray a little bit of water and it becomes more malleable. This filler does take about three to four hours to fully dry, so it is a great product if you have the time to let it dry. If you take a close look at this corner, there's a big chunk missing, so I will be using this high bond filler to correct that problem. Bondo is a two-part filler and it makes for quick repairs without having to wait too long to dry. The hardener for this specific type of Bondo is blue, but it does come in many different colors. One thing to keep in mind is that the more hardener you add, the faster it will dry. For me, this patch was completely dry after 10 minutes. Finally, we are ready for primer. For this project, I will be rolling my primer on the bigger areas and I will be spraying the doors in areas where the roller doesn't fit. One of the common mistakes I see in DIY painted cabinets or furniture is that people try using a roller on non-flat surfaces and unless you spend the time sanding it, it does not look good. 
The point here is to DIY with a professional grade result, so spend a little more money, save time, and buy a can of primer. I decided to leave the top drawers with a natural finish, so I took up my handy dandy QCS Finish Stripper by Stripple. For this process, all you need is a scuff pad and shop towels to clean up the residue. Stripwell did recently come out with an after wash, which I haven't had the chance to try. Um, but um, I've been doing good with just using my shop towels. Now, if anyone that works at Stripwell is watching this video, send me a sample bottle of your after wash, please and thank you. I repeated the process of sanding and priming with the bottom doors and while you watch that, I wanted to let you know that as of September of this year, my furniture will be available for sale at Rust and Green. So if you're watching and you're from Southern Maryland, come check us out. You can find more information on my Instagram and Facebook pages which will be linked in the description box. Moving on! We are finally ready for some paint. For this, I will be using this beautiful green bluish color from Stain Masters. This line of paint is made for cabinets and furniture, which means that it doesn't require a top coat. I am using my pneumatic sprayer to achieve a flawless finish, but you can certainly use a paintbrush because this paint is self-leveling and the longer drying time allows for the paint to settle evenly. I didn't get a chance to show you guys before, but I did remove this vase. I can tell someone removed the original legs, so in order to add the ones I ordered from Amazon, I had to remove it. These are the legs I ordered. They are inexpensive and they gave this credenza a more desirable height. I used my favorite gold metallic paint to create a cohesive look between the legs, poles, and hardware, and now they all look like they come from the same set. Even though this paint does not require a top coat, I decided to give it three coats of water-based poly for durability because I might make it our coffee station in our kitchen slash dining room area.
Lastly, I started putting the credenza back together to get it ready for staging. I hope you guys like this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions about this makeover. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and hit the notification bell for more furniture flips. Thanks for watching.